feature that we are going to implement. Now, once I click on take picture, it shows a message, smile, please starting the camera application to let you click the photo. Now the camera application will start. Here we also have a feature that if the application is already open, it will close that application. And that also we'll see when we run the app next time. So here I'm going to click a quick photo of mine. And once clicked, the camera application will automatically get closed. It is successful and the image is visible over here. So as you can see, we have built this app. Now, as soon as I click the picture, Hello and welcome back on my YouTube channel, Par Doshi, Learning by Doing. So today in this video, we are going to build a one very interesting app in UiPath apps. So this is one new feature that I tried to build in UiPath apps. So as you can see the title already, it is about adding a camera feature to your UiPath apps. So till now we have implemented different apps where we integrate with storage buckets, with data surveys or many different use cases. We have also integ seen integration of AI center with UiPath apps, but today we are going to build something more interesting. Now this, like I told, it is going to be integration of camera with your UiPath app. So first let me show you what we are going to build by the end of this video. So you don't get bored in between and you can build, learn and build this interesting feature. So as you can see, I have created a simple sign up app. Now I'm going to show you the complete process of how I've created this app, how I have added the camera feature and what are the validations in this app. So right now, as you see, there are three mandatory fields over here, full name, email, and phone number. Right now, there are no validations on this field that whether if name has digits or not, email is validated or not, phone number are 10 digits or not. It is simple to add that validations. We'll have that in different videos. But now here, I'm going to enter the basic details. So I'm going to enter my name. I'm going to enter my email. And I'm going to enter my number. Okay. So now if you see, clicking a picture is also mandatory over here. Now, since I've not clicked a picture already, my sign up button is disabled. So these are the fee, this is the feature that we are going to implement. Now, once I click on take picture, it shows a message, smile, please starting the camera application to let you click the photo. Now the camera application will start. Here we also have a feature that if the application is already open, it will close that application. And that also we'll see when we run the app next time. So here I'm going to click a quick photo of mine. And once clicked, the camera application will automatically get closed. It is successful and the image is visible over here. So as you can see, we have built this app. Now, as soon as I click the picture, the sign up button is enabled over here. So if I remove this now, please enter phone number since it is a required field. So this is the feature that we are going to add to our app. Now, as you see, or if you have noticed, the retake picture button is also available over here. So I since clicked the photo once, what if I want to click it one more time? So this is only available when the picture is clicked once, right? So now I don't want to click more pictures of mine and I just want to click on sign up. So once I click on sign up, we have the data being saved in data service. So one thing that I can show over here is like this. So if you see the entry has been made over here, this is like, we just made the entry 12, 7, 49 seconds, right? So this is how we can integrate and build the camera feature in our UiPath app. So this is what we are going to learn throughout this video. Now, let me go to the main app page. I'm not going to go more into the designing part. I'll just explain how I have added the validations or what are the checks that I have added. Now, this is a simple container that I'm using. This is one more container and this is the third container. I have added borders to them. Uh, if you go to style, you can also add borders over here. As you see, the thickness is three. Now here, while creating this page, what I've done is initially when I've created my initial videos of UiPath apps, when I was also learning, what I used to do is I used to have a label as another control over here and a text box as another control over here. But now here, that is not the case. What we are going to do over here is we are going to use this label property 
that ui path is introduced in the properties of any text field or text area or the anything that you enter so now if you see here i can give label and the position of label i can configure over here if you see label placement there are two options that we have do you want want it sideways or up and down so i'm just going to use this so i don't have to spend much time and efforts on the beautification of this in the similar way i have added three text boxes and this is the simple header now if i go over here in properties initially we did not have this property but since the last release we have this so there is a validation property available over here you can set it to true and please enter your full name that is what is there over here okay so these are the simple fields that we have created this is an image control that i am using right now i am binding a value to it this is a app variable that i have created which is profile image now how this variable came what is the process behind it we will see all of that coming to the two buttons take picture and retake picture are the two buttons that we have on basis of this we have two rules created i will show you what that rules are but before we get into that i want to show that when we loaded the app the sign up button was disabled and the retake picture was not visible how am i doing that so your sign up button if you see i am passing a app variable to it which is submit button to its disabled properties i want the field to be visible but disabled and in retake picture i want the field or, or i want the button just to be simply hidden once it is visible i want it to active i don't want it to be disabled so how am i configuring or passing this properties over here so in ui path apps on page load so people who are aware more about html and css and javascript they know about this property on page load so if you see on loaded i can create prop i can do whatever i want on page load so here i am doing two things retake button i am keeping the value true that means i want it to be hidden submit button i am setting this disabled properties as you see this variables we have passed over submit buttons disabled property right so i am setting the value true over here that is making it happen right now moving ahead how am i integrating app camera feature how on the click of button a camera is getting application is getting opened and how is that feature working right so for that we have a ui path process which i am calling now let me go to the ui path process so this process i will add it in github as well you don't have to worry about it so what i have done is i have opened my camera application of laptop okay now going back to the process here if i go to edit selector you show you see it is validated now i have tried this same thing on my other laptops as well where i have access to ui path apps and there also it works so i think this is a selector which is valid in multiple laptops or devices you can test that as well so now what i'm doing is if the application is already open and i'm closing it after that i'm opening the application again showing the window and here i have used a file change trigger now once the camera application is open i don't know when the user is going to click the photo let me close this okay i don't know when user will click a photo so for that you can use a trigger scope because it can be long enough so this trigger does not break or does not come out of the loop unless and until the photo is clicked so what i have done is i have given here the path of my picture where it can get saved so if you see here i have used environment dot current username so irrespective of any person using it it will take the current username and it will save the picture over there so in file change trigger i have selected three option i i have selected all you can just select create it because a new image is going to get created notify filters i am just uh, you know concerned about what the file name is i do not need all these details so what i do is include sub directories as well in case if it goes into any now once the trigger is triggered okay so then what action you want to perform now in that action what i have done is i am uploading the file to storage buckets because in app i can easily integrate the sto storage buckets and it will be easier for me to fetch the file and display it in the ui path app here i get the file name using the argument so on trigger 
this argument has multiple properties that you can fetch like events what is the action etc etc because there are multiple triggers mouse trigger keyboard trigger and there are many things but for now we are concerned about the file change trigger so i'm taking the full path over here i'm uploading that picture to my storage buckets and i'm passing that back to my ui path app so once the photo is clicked like you see when i click on take picture a process starts executing camera application is opened and then when i click the photo this is what i get in the out argument and on clicking of photo this trigger is automatically triggered the file is uploaded it is sent back to my ui path app now i'll show you in ui path app how i am getting the file as well and then i'm closing the camera application now one question you might have that why do i have break over here now i just want this trigger to get executed once once when the button is clicked if it is clicked multiple times i want it to get executed multiple times right on take and retake both the same process is getting executed there is no difference at all in that correct but in that case what i want is i want to come out of the loop otherwise this trigger keeps on monitoring the same folder so when you put a break once the process is done it comes out of that so that is the reason i have a break implemented over here if you still have questions that why break is needed please do put it in the comments now this is the process i have published and i have only one out argument that is out clicked picture file path coming back to our app on take picture let's go on edit room when started i just showed smile please starting the camera application to let you click the photo when completed i am showing a message photo has been clicked and uploaded successfully after that i am getting the file from storage bucket now you can simply add storage buckets by going to this particular option in default i have profile picture storage bucket so that is the same that i am passing over here this is my file name with extension that i am passing through my process and here is where i want to save it in the app so if you see profile image value is set to here after that i want the retake button to be visible so i am making this property false and after this i want to make the submit button enabled because if required fields has an error it will automatically show like we saw at the start of the video please enter your phone number so that is not my concern i just want to make it enable once the take picture button is clicked so these are the steps that we have implemented over here now coming back to retake picture when started it is the same when completed it is the same get file from storage buckets set value submit button false that make it enabled basically now that is how we can integrate camera to your ui path app okay now there is one last step that we need to see is how i am adding the data to data service so i am using create update entity record here is my data service passed and here are the variables how are these values coming let's see that if you go in general i have bindings over here full name email and phone number that is what we pass to our sign up so this is how i build this interesting feature in ui path app that allows you to take picture and show it within ui path apps during run time as well now there are more other very exciting features and you know functionalities that have came in ui path apps which is like interim process and then there is document viewer then reach text editor there are many features coming in i'll try to come up with videos on all of them but for now this is something that i came across with now this camera feature can only be used in laptops for now i'm working on something where if this app is executed through a mobile will the camera get on right or will i be able to click a picture because there the complete thing changes there i cannot use c slash user slash environment dot username i cannot use that kind of things i have to find some other way to do that right so in that case we are trying to see what i can build or if there is something else that i can try to build over here right so once i build it i'll definitely make a video and explain how i build that as well but i hope you find this feature interesting you can build some exciting use cases now one call to action that i would like to give by the since we are at the end of the video one call to action that i would like to give to you is in data service we have an option okay let me put this 
we have a type option which is called as file now what i want you all to do is try to build the similar app but also upload the photo in the data service which i am not doing right now right right now i am just uploading the basic details pardoshi email and phone number one field can be added over here which is file and that would be a very interesting use case if you can build that so this together thank you for watching the complete video i hope you found this useful and helpful and you can build more interesting use cases thank you for watching the complete video